So now I'm going to talk about uh, convergence, uh, and it tells you again about um, what the global error you're making is, um, and whether or not that global error sort of goes to zero, it's I guess the time step goes to zero. So, um, so in order to do this, it's like we first have to establish a, a lemma, which is called the discrete uh, Granwell lemma. And um, the basic idea behind the discrete Granwell lemma, as I said, is that there are sort of two sources error you have to deal with at every time step, one of which is the error which comes from, um, you know, it's like the error in the initial data, um, which is accumulated from the previous steps of the method, and the other one is the local error, okay? So what's going to end up happening basically is that the error um, at the new step is going to be related to the error um, at the old step um, in a certain way. Um, it's going to satisfy some sort of recurrence uh, inequality. Um, and we're going to ask, it's like given this um, sort of uh, inequality, it's like what can we say something ab about the, um, the accumulated error, okay? So let me just state the dilemma abstractly. It's like improve it. And then in the next lecture, we'll see how it's actually used to establish the convergence of uh, the Euler method, for example. So, uh, so let's say that we have a positive sequence. Okay, Zn, okay, and goes from zero to big N, right? Satisfies uh, the following inequality that Zn plus one is less than equal to A Zn plus B. So the basic idea behind this is that the Z's, as you might expect, uh, have to do with the error at each time step. And basically what we're going to see is that the error at the new step is bounded from above by the error at the old step times some sort of amplification factor, okay? Plus it's like some new source error. So, so here the amplification er error intuitively has to do with the fact that um, nearby solutions of the differential equation actually diverge from each other. Um, and then, so that's uh, this error amplification part. And then this thing has to do with the local truncation error, which we talked about before, okay? So that's where these things are going to be coming from. And you're going to have this for constants, uh, um, A greater than zero and some B, okay? Then the following is true, that Zn is less than equal to b over a minus one uh, multiply into a to the n minus one um, plus a to the n z zero okay so given this um, inequality which is satisfied um, sort of term by term um, in the error sequence we can see how the final error is bounded in terms of uh, some function of the um, constants, the amplification constants, and the local error constants, and it's like the initial error you had, okay? So this is the, the condition which holds if uh, A is not equal to one, and then uh, if A is equal to one, then life is a lot easier, then this is less than equal to uh, NB plus Z zero, again, for A is equal to one. Okay, all right, so let's try to prove this. Uh, and the usual proof is by induction. Okay, so the A equals one case is straightforward. So, so straightforward induction. So I'm going to omit that. Uh, it's easy to convince yourself uh, how to do that. Um, I mean, really all, all it really does is that you have Zn plus one, it's actually not even necessarily induction, it's almost recursion, right? So Zn plus one is less than equal to Zn plus B, it's less than equal to Zn minus one plus two B and so on, right? Okay, and then by the time you're done, it's like this gives you uh, Z zero plus NB, right? So it's it's not even um, induction as, a most, as opposed to sort of just recursively applying, it's like this uh, inequality for A is equal to 
one. So that's not very exciting. Okay, and uh, so let's consider the case uh, uh, where a is not equal to one. Okay, so and then we will prove this by induction. So for n is equal to zero, right, the inequality right, reduces to um, z0 is less than equal to b over a minus a um, minus 1, a to the 0 minus 1 plus uh, a to the 0, z0, right, a to the 0 is 1, so this term goes to 0, and then a to the 0 again is 1, so this is equal to z0. So it's just saying that z0 is less than equal to z0, which obviously is true, so this is true. So the induction hypothesis holds, okay? So you assume that uh, uh, that this inequality holds for um, n equals to k, and you want to establish it for n equals k plus one, okay? So so we use uh, that this holds for n equals to k plus we use this. Uh, quality which always holds. So zk plus 1 is less than equal to a z k b. We know zk satisfies this thing for n equals to k. All right. So that is less than equal to um, b over a minus 1, a to the n minus 1. Right. Sorry, a to the k minus 1 plus a to the k z0. That's the zk term. And then you multiply it by a, right, plus b. OK. Um, so this is equal to ab over a minus 1, a to the k minus 1 plus a to the k plus 1 z0 plus b. All right, so you have the a to k plus 1 term, which you would want for n equals to k plus 1. So we have to combine this b term into this. OK, and you can check that this is actually equal to b over a minus 1, a to the k plus 1 minus 1. All right, so, um, all right. so this term here plus b is this term here. Plus this is a to the k plus 1 z0. So this holds for n equals to k plus 1. So by induction, then this holds for all n, which is exactly what we stated here. And again, it's like we proved it's like the second case, or the first case, it's like where a is equal to 0, sort of just directly, if you will. OK, so anyway, so this is what is called the discrete Granwell lemma. And again, it allows you to say that if each, you know, if you can relate, it's like the error at the new step in terms of the error of the old step by amplifying the error uh, at the previous step plus adding a new source of error, then the total error, it's like where at the very end, uh, satisfies this kind of inequality. Okay. And again, what we're going to see is that we're going to use this, it's like to say something about uh, the global error, it's like of the numerical method, um, and that. Um, you know, it's like that, that global error, it's like uh, goes to zero as the time step goes to zero. Okay, so let me just stop here for now.